Hello and welcome to Matrix Live. My guest today is Amandine, one of the guardians of the foundation. Um, but first, uh, before she has her big announcement to make, I want to give you a brief reminder that we have the Matrix conference happening in October in Strasbourg this year. Um, the call for proposal has been extended until the end of June. We have already received a few very good, well, a few, quite a few good, very good proposals. Uh, but don't miss your chance to give your project visibility. The CFP is still open. And as for the sponsors, we have only one champion sponsor package left. So we have a few other individual perks. So if you are interested in sponsoring the conference, you can send an email to conference at foundation.matrix.org. Amandine, bonjour. Why are you here? <laughs> Why am I here? Now we're making some changes uh, and we are announcing today that uh, we will be rolling out premium accounts for the matrix.org home server uh, users. So yeah, I'm happy to be here and be able to tell you more about this. All right, so the first question that comes to mind is, but why? <laughs> but why, indeed. So. If maybe it's worth just reminding people why the foundation exists in the first place. And um, I like to see it across four different goals. Like first one is make sure that the specification of the protocol stays unencumbered and independent um, and canonical as well. We don't want to fragment uh, the ecosystem. We also want, uh, the foundation is also here to ensure that all the players across the ecosystem are at a level playing field. We don't want one player to actually uh, lead the whole thing or take over the entire protocol. So the foundation has a role of making sure all the players are heard, are visible, and it can also even act as a... Um, uh, a bit of a marketing tool. Uh, if you're a member of the foundation, then you will be displayed on the website. We're improving how, but um, basically you will be talked about uh, as part of the matrix ecosystem. So become a member of the foundation. It will help you. The third one is uh, the foundation is actually is also here to just like promote the standard itself, uh, make sure that um, we uh, people are building on top of it, understand how it can bring, because in the end, the value of Matrix is completely linked to how big the network is. The more people building on top of it, the more users on it, then the more useful it is uh, for its users and uh, the more it serves its uh, mission. And uh, the foundation is also here to ensure that the public network is safe. Uh, so that's both by building moderation tools for uh, the administrators of matrix home servers uh, in the wild, but also moderate the server it runs, which is matrix.org, in the public network. And that is quite, uh, quite a lot of work. Um, so all of these uh, can not happen just based on uh, the thin air. Uh, we have a team who is supporting this, and there is quite a lot of administrative burden in terms of finance, legal, governance, uh, actually putting out these matrix lives, the tweets, the blogs, the website, uh, organizing the events, etc. We also have um, the trust and safety work, which is done by a team as well, which is uh, the biggest team in the foundation. And then you have the cost of running uh, the matrix servers and running the events and these sort of things. So all of these take some money uh, and, um, and we need to make sure that the foundation can achieve its goals uh, by funding it. So right now, a lot of uh, most of the revenues of the foundations are coming from the donations and the memberships of uh, people joining the foundation, but it's, uh, it's not enough. And the matrix auto server is one of the biggest costs of the foundation, but it's also key in our view to make sure that uh, matrix is going to grow because the matrix auto server is free and public. And basically if anyone is coming up, uh, especially less technical users and want to learn about matrix, they will install the matrix client and then try to find a server on where to create their account. And this is why matrix auto home server is important. It's the, the entry point into the matrix ecosystem for uh, users, especially non-technical users. Then they can go and actually choose whichever uh, hoster they want for their account. They can register somewhere else, run their own servers. But matrix.org is here as an evangelization, a promotion tool uh, for, uh, for users. So 
because it was um, so important in making the ecosystem grow, uh, we it's also so expensive. We had to look at um, what to do with it. Uh, right now, um, the current donations and membership, even if we're super grateful to everyone who is actually helping support the foundation, are not covering enough of the cost of the foundation. Uh, the foundation is losing money, and we need to uh, to fix that. The Matrix Autocom server is about like 20%, just in terms of infrastructure and the team to run it, 20% of the foundation's expenditure. Uh, if you actually include even the, the trust and safety side, it can go much more, up to 50% of it. So we need to uh, to reduce the, the um, to reduce the speed at which the foundation is losing money and cover some of these costs. We could have gone to the extreme side and say, okay, well, this is way too expensive, we can't support it and we have to turn it off. But that would be really a big hit uh, in terms of um, like there are about more than 300,000 uh, monthly active users on the Matrix Home server. What will these people do? They could migrate somewhere else, but it's a pain. We're going to lose the entry point into the ecosystem. So we didn't want to turn it off. So we had to find a compromise and uh, decided that maybe the best is to uh, try to get some of the people who, uh, who are the most active users on the server to help fund its functioning. Um, as So that's both for fund the service they're getting, but also support the foundation in its work and support how the matrix server, matrix or home server is actually helping the ecosystem. Well, Long answer. <laughs> yeah, so you want to make uh, the, the most active users contribute to the server, but does it mean, so premium accounts are going to be paid accounts. Does it mean that everybody on the matrix.com server will have to pay for an account? No, basically the idea is, have to, is to have a freemium model. Like we want to make sure anyone can come and use the server uh, for free. However, um, if you are, uh, we're going to put some limits on what you can do with your free accounts, like a lot of the freemium uh, models out there. Um, we're honestly, we're still tweaking it. It's going to roll out pretty progressively and we're probably going to be adjusting based on how it works, how, how it's received and how it's, um, uh, it's successful. But the idea is probably to have a kind of limit on the size of file you can send, uh, at first, um, which means it should, shouldn't prevent you to do like basic uh, basic chat with your friends and family. But if you are actually using it heavily, I don't know, at work, for example, we have some people using it at work, um, then you will need to, um, and you want to send some very big files, then maybe you will, you will need to, to pay a, a monthly fee for that. So that's how we're looking at it. We don't want to cripple the experience too much, but we also need to help fund um, the, um, uh, the usage of it. All right, so the goal is not to squeeze out as much money as possible from the users, as we can see on some flat platforms, but uh, to make sure that everybody is contributing their fair share to how they use the server and support others. Okay. Um, so you touched on that very briefly when you mentioned the upload files. What are all the perks I'm going to have um, with a premium account? Um, so at first, as I was saying, we're probably going to iterate on the various um, um, variables of it. At first, it's going to be a limit in the size of file you can send, uh, and then also uh, potentially the ability to create public rooms, um, the um, limit on how much uh, people you can invite um, in a given time, so rate limit the invites, uh, and these sort of things. Um, well, probably be, we are going to be also introducing probably some um, fair usage in the terms and conditions uh, because we're saying some very, very, very heavy uh, users and, um, and that will also help on the, um, on the media storage side of things. Right. The matrix.com server is not a CDN. Yeah. <laughs> Do I get additional support uh, as a premium member? So it's not going to be additional, but we'll definitely prioritize um, users who are actually uh, paying for the service because that's just fair. Like if you're paying for something, then you deserve um, to get some level of, um, of support for it. Now, right now, uh, given it's a free service, it's been very much um, best effort, um, best effort support for, um, for the users. 
token of paying for the service, how much will it cost? Well, the idea is to make it available for less than a cup of coffee. So I know cups of coffee don't pay, don't cost the same whether you live in London or the depth of a country somewhere. Uh, but um, but and same thing, we might be um, iterating over time. But the starting point is to, going to be a couple of um, US dollar a month. It will be available in uh, US dollar uh, euros and um, British pounds as well. Uh, so you can uh, address to that. But um, yeah, that's the idea. I think that comes to uh, euro and a half or something along these lines. Um, and uh, you can get annual um, annual payment, which uh, decreases. Um, and um, yeah, uh, that's that will be the idea. All right. And when will it be available? So we're going to roll this out pretty, uh, pretty um, s s slowly. Um, we're going to start deploying. It will require uh, an update on all the terms and condition, privacy policy, etc. So this will be coming up next week. So we'll, you will see as a matrix.org user, you will see a request to accept the new terms and conditions and privacy policy. And then early July, the new users uh, will uh, basically get the um, uh, create a free account that they can upgrade into a paid account. And then uh, across the summer, we will be migrating existing users towards free accounts so that they can then upgrade to paid accounts. So it will be, will take like over the summer, basically. All right, baby, te baby steps, taking uh, the time to see if nothing breaks and if uh, nobody yeah, is too and, unhappy uh, about yeah. that. And if we have surges of support requests and this sort of things. <laughs> All right. Um, as a foundation member, I get a free ticket to the Matrix conference. Um, and I can get a few perks. Do I have a discount to get a, a, a premium account? Yeah, so if you are already a member, an individual member of the foundation, and you're already participating in supporting the foundation, then you will get a free premium account on the uh, matrix.com server. And will it work on any client I can use? So we've been de developing it with a goal in mind to have no, uh, like the original goal was like no development on the client side. Uh, I I don't know if I'm getting into the details here. Um, maybe I, I can point out, we'll be publishing the blog with the details on how it works. Uh, it'll be simpler than getting into the rabbit hole of it. But yeah, it should be no development on the client side, except that Apple has a very strict uh, guidelines on how you can sell services for the um, in the apps that are published on the App Store. So um, there will probably be a tweak on the um, uh, clients which are published on the Apple App Store uh, to make sure that you stay compliant with the um, App Store guidelines. Right. Thank you, Apple. So I guess client developers will have to look at the blog post to know if they need to do anything. But the bottom line is it should be almost nothing. Yeah, yeah, that's um, that's the bottom line. Uh, so maybe high level, what we do, we have this current um, uh, ability. Um, we use server notices to send messages as the matrix.org server to the user, um, and we will be using that channel. So it's literally you get an invite from this official matrix.org account, uh, which will get give you some uh, information and guide you towards um, towards your account management, which is all managed by the matrix authentication service. So from an app perspective, it's managing a, a, a room, uh, basically. But uh, there are more details in the blog post. Something most clients should already do. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what will the money from this subscription fund? Will we see an acceleration in, in features development or what is it going to be used it's for? Surely going to go towards the uh, server infrastructure and costs. That's the, the goal is to get the, uh, the home server uh, break even. So have as much money coming in as is uh, coming out. So, um, so yeah, that's the, um, that's the main goal. It's worth um, saying that we're also looking at other ways of reducing the costs, of course, uh, in terms of um, optimizing the, um, so of course the performance side of thing, uh, but also maybe optimizing how, um, uh, I say uh, the providers, uh, maybe change providers and this sort of thing. So we're looking at different, different ways of reducing the cost, but, um, but yeah, that was 
an easy, a simple one to put out in parallel because there will be no silver. Um, what's the idiom? S silver bullet. Uh, silver bullet. <laughs> no silver bullet on the tech side. Right. And switching provider is not as simple as it sounds, because if yeah. you are switching from one provider to another, you can get additional fees when transferring the data. So you need to be very careful and not reckless when, when doing that and carefully plan it. Um, is there any other plan that you want to disclose or anything the world should know about Matrix or the Matrix.org home server specifically? Uh, the Matrix.org home server, nothing. Uh, keep an eye open on the changes coming up, um, but hopefully it will be for the best for everyone on the foundation itself. As I was saying, uh, if you're an organization uh, using Matrix, whether you are a user or a developer on an integrator, please, please, please come and uh, become a member, you will be helping uh, the whole ecosystem. And it's, as I say, very good marketing tool. Uh, at least that's what we aim for it to be. And uh, as you said earlier, Matrix Conference, come to Strasbourg, uh, provide nice talks. I Last year was really, really fun. The mix of, uh, of uh, subjects flying around from super tech to super high level, uh, the mix of attendance was amazing. Um, getting um, yeah people from various governments talking to uh, the devs of all the um, smaller projects uh, was really nice. So uh, looking forward to it and um, yeah sponsor talks attendees. Uh, we hope to see everyone in Strasbourg uh, on between the fifteenth and the eighteenth of October. And this year the conference is going to be exclusively on the ground floor. No no floor to climb. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you very much, Amandine. And I'll see you next week, Matrix Live. Thank you. See you soon all.